Rich, big welcome back to you. This is your first Secular Forum back at PIMCO after spending several years with the Federal Reserve. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to be back. And as the saying goes, there's no place like home. So it was great, great to come back and, and, uh, and organize this forum. Oh, that's great. We're delighted that you reassumed your leadership for, <laughs> for this process. Yeah. But you have been here over the years and seen several important uh, secular forums. Yeah. And so as you reflect upon past themes, you know, what are the consistent themes that continue to persist today? Yes. Well, I think that's the strength, Kim, of the process. But if you look back, uh, the forums several years ago are still quite relevant. But Kim, you know, what we realized going into this year is that a lot has happened in the past, you know, 12 months. We have a very hawkish central bank pivots around the world. We had the biggest bank failures in U.S. history in the spring, uh, Credit Suisse, um, and uh, if anything, more escalating tension. And so where we came down in this forum is with our theme of the aftershock economy. So we think people navigating the economy and markets need to respect that there will be aftershocks from these disruptions over the next several years. So you mentioned we titled the Secular Outlook, yeah. the aftershock economy. Yeah. So talk about those themes that we developed as part of our discussion. Well, we really, uh, we really drew several important macro uh, conclusions. First, we do think uh, that there's going to be more economic volatility in the next five years. You know, if you look back at the decade before the pandemic, especially in the U.S. data, it wasn't very exciting, but it wasn't very volatile uh, either. We think those days are are gone, at least for the next five years. Moreover, the Fed has done a lot of quantitative easing. It's bought a lot of assets, about $8 trillion worth in the last uh, decade or so. And, and so we highlighted what we may think of as QE fatigue or QE exhaustion, which means less policy support uh, in, in, in downturns. We think global growth is gonna slow with risk uh, to, the, to the downside. Another key theme, however, is we do think that central banks will do what it takes to keep inflation expectations anchored at their targets. Um, they're gonna have a tough job ahead of them, but we think they will succeed in that. And we also think that rates, uh, you know, real policy rates, what we've called the new neutral, a prior secular theme, are also going to return more or less back into the range that we saw before the, the pandemic. So with growth expectations lower, as you mentioned, and our expectations for inflation to return to longer term levels, yeah. how are we thinking about the return drivers of fixed income yeah. over the secular horizon? Well, I will say that's probably one of the biggest differences from a year ago. You know, we had reaching for resilience, but investors a year ago were reaching for resilience with yields at pretty low levels. Yields are now at the highest starting levels we've seen in 15 years. And so we all obviously think investors should should seize that op opportunity. Okay, great. Dan? Well, we touched on this in the in the research piece. Not only have we had significant disruption the last few years, it's also important to remember that we were in an incredibly low yield environment for almost a decade or more coming out of the global financial crisis. And again, a good predictor of forward returns and fixed income mm -hmm. is the starting yield. Uh, we expect a lot more volatility across um, different cycles, uh, economic cycles, uh, financial cycles, which is going to produce some interesting opportunities from a global opportunity set perspective as well. So bottom line is that we are excited about a global opportunity set. We're excited about starting valuations. And for more opportunistic capital, we think there's going to be great chances to achieve high returns for the patient investor in some of these sectors that grew a bit too quickly and are going to present attractive opportunities yeah. for, for new capital over the next few years. 